One of my favorite fruits is a tangelo, which is a cross between a tangerine and an orange. Have you ever wondered how they actually create the crosses of fruit? Hi, I'm Janice Granetti. I've been teaching biology for over 20 years, and I'm here to talk to you today about combining plant DNA. When scientists and farmers were first figuring out how to cross different species of plants, they would, in fruit trees, do something called grafting. They'd cut the branch off of a tangerine tree and graft it to an orange tree. And the tree would produce this cross between an orange and a tangerine, tangerine called a tangelo. Well, as scientists have discovered more and more about how living things work, and they've discovered something called DNA, which is the genetic material inside cells that's kind of like the recipe book or the blueprint for making a living thing what it is, They've discovered how to cross different organisms in a much simpler way. You can actually combine plant DNA using some simple flowers. In fact, some people will even do this with their plants at home because it tends to boost uh, production of vegetables or fruits, for instance. If you look inside a flower, there's actually male and female reproductive parts inside of it. This part right here is the part that's got the pollen, which is basically the sperm of the plant. And then this part right here is sort of like the ovary. Now, normally what happens in a plant is that the pollen from this particular flower will fertilize the eggs that are down in the ovary, and the plant will produce replicas of itself. If you've ever heard the term pollination, you might have known that a bee or a butterfly or something like that landing on a flower gets some pollen grains on its leg and then flies to another flower, and as it's feeding on that flower, it'll drop some of the pollen grains from the other plant into the new flower, and that's how plants actually get their genetic material crossed. Well, you can actually intentionally combine plant DNA by taking a Q-tip, swabbing it on this part of the flower to pick up some pollen, and then go to another flower on a different plant and take that pollen and rub it into this part right here, into the sepal, and get the pollen from one flower into the ovary of another flower. You can experiment with lots of different types. Zucchini plants are a popular one. So it's pretty easy to actually combine DNA now that we understand where it is and what it is. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Combining Plant DNA.